Hi everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today with another haul. Uh, I did a Sizzix haul recently, and these are some of the other things that I also got during the month of May. I've been so tempted this month by so many things, and I have so many carts open uh, in so many places on the internet for various things, not just crafting. Uh, but I have stayed strong except, except where it came to the crafting. And it all started when all of the stamp companies started offering all these freebies. The first one I got was from Greeting Farm. And uh, it was uh, this digital right here. And you could size it to a bunch of different sizes if you know how to. Uh, I think you can just open up um, like a photo editing software in uh, you know whatever technology you're using and do that that's what I did with these otherwise it prints like one big one to the whole page which would be cool I guess for you know the cover of something but I decided to make them more of a card size and I printed them on Nina classic crest solar white and I can't tell if you can see or not, but it didn't do a good job printing for me. And I think it's it's my printer. It's my the fact that I used uh, like second market uh, or refilled cartridges, something like that, which are a lot cheaper. Uh, but it's something I think I might be able to to work with still. I don't know if you could see or not. I have my glasses on but I can't tell <laughs> through the viewfinder. Um, so they didn't print very well but uh, again I think I can use them. Then I found, uh, I think I found this most recently from Ellen Hudson. Uh, Sandy Allnock told me about those. And then there's also these from, there's a boy and a girl comes with sentiments and uh, the image. Uh, these are from My Favorite Things. It's called Bedside Manor and Call the Shots. You could look it up that way, but these are freebies. Uh, you don't have to buy anything. You can download them for free. And uh, there's lots of other sites that have them. If you know of any others that have free digital downloads, um, why don't you go ahead and share them in the comments below. I am almost 100% positive that Tailored Expressions also has a free digital. Um, and I downloaded a few more, but I was seeing how they were coming out, so uh, I decided to stop printing anymore. And uh, I'll, I'll work on these, see how they come out, and then if I... If I think they came out great, maybe I'll print some of the other ones. Um, so yeah, Tailored Expressions also has one. And uh, Sandy Allnock actually has one also. Uh, I think if you go to her blog, check her out on Facebook or YouTube. She has uh, she has one, it's, it's a, like a landscape, like a town, village, or cityscape. Um, kind of image it's not you know doctors or people like that um, so um, yeah so if you know anybody else that's doing free digital images leave a comment in the comment below to share it with everyone else and if you're not subscribed to my channel be sure to subscribe I'd really appreciate it so let me show you some of the things that I got uh, I'll show you first what I got from I'm losing things already oh let me show you this uh, this is just a die from the Stamps of Life. I recently did a uh, de-stash, and uh, I'm actually going to do a repeat de-stash. But um, I recently did this de-stash, and I sold uh, a couple of my Stamps of Life sets, stamp and die sets. Um, but I still kept a number of them that I had. Um, and one of them that I kept was the Snail Snails. This is called Die Snail, but it's snails to stamp or snails to love or something like that and it's it's an image of a snail and um, I just bought the die that went with it it was on sale for $6.95 and their their dies are usually about $14 
So I got that at Stamps of Life. Oh, and the shipping is so cheap. I paid like a dollar shipping. I really love that. Okay, so from, I already broke into these. From uh, Jan Evers, Quality Crafts, I purchased a set of these from her, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to buy some more of them from her because they worked out really well. Um, these are White Smooth Doris, uh 50 A2 cards and envelopes. I was running out of the white ones. This is not exactly a white color. This is more of a, like a like an off white. It's not like a bright white like. Here's something else that I got, which I really appreciate. Uh, so you can see the white, the difference in the white from this one to this one. Can you see the difference? Yeah. Um, I already broke into those, and that's a reasonable price for that, $7.99. <clears throat> and uh, I got this Distrex Cracked Leather Cardstock in 8.5 by 11. And um, yeah, I'm really lo looking forward to using this and creating some really interesting, fabulous things with this. And then I also got some other things. This is some Stamperia, Stamperia, Stamperia. Don't know how it's pronounced. That's how it's spelled. It's from Hungary, that's where they're located. But this is some rice paper or decoupage paper. <clears throat> it's got that, uh, Rice paper looked, maybe it's printed on, I don't know. We'll open it, Amalia. I don't know that it, it you can't feel like the fibers in it. So maybe it's just printed on, I don't know. But it's, a, it's like a fibrous, textured, lightweight kind of paper. It says... Carta de Riso, which I think means rice paper. I know it means rice paper. Carta is paper, Riso is rice. So this one is like a steampunk theme. I cut into it when I cut the package, but that's okay. This one is also a steampunk theme. I don't know why I got it. I not. I don't really do a lot of steampunk, but... <clears throat> I don't know, all you crafty people out there really influence me. So, so I got that. <laughs> and then I got this too, another steampunk kind of guy, but this was a nice big stamp. Um, I got that, so I was happy to get that. And what else did I get from, from her? I got this. This is a jewel picker. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's double-ended, so it has a small tip and a larger tip on either side. I just figured it would come in handy to do all the various and sundry things that I wanted to do. Is that all I got from her? I'll probably put it all away. Put the rest of it away anyway. Um, okay, so let me show you some of the other things that I got. Um, I picked up some things from one of my favorite... Um, websites, Top Flight Stamps. They have some really unique uh, and wonderful stamps. One of my favorite ones is called Quetzalcraft, and uh, they carry a large assortment of Quetzalcraft. Uh, but let me show you what I bought. Uh, and look at that, it's all from Quetzalcraft. Uh, not all of it, but we'll see. Uh, I bought some sentiments. Why are these attached? I don't know. I got some sentiments. This one says, be brave enough to be bad at something new. Take the risk or lose the chance. These are red rubber and folks, these are unmounted. So these are really uh, affordable. And uh, I normally like my stamps mounted because I use the blocks, um, but they really don't need to be mounted. And um, if I get a chance, I'll show you guys how you can mount these without having to have the foam cling mount uh, on the on the back side of the stamps. I also got this one. I guess this one was $4.99. And uh, I just really like that. I have a specific application in mind for these with all these little divots like that. And I can't wait to use that. Now this I bought 
this I bought, I don't know why I bought it. I have so many rub-ons. I have so many rub-ons. I think I bought it because of the, because it's called a, a media transfer, which doesn't mean anything. It's just a rub-on. Look, there's the stick in there and everything. It's a rub-on. And I have so many rub-ons that I haven't used. And, but I saw this and it reminded me of, um, of, a. Uh, Iron Orchid Designs rub-ons. Uh, I've been watching some um, some folks, some furniture refabbers on uh, on YouTube, and they use a lot of Iron Orchid Design transfers. And these just reminded me of them. And I have a project or two in mind to do this with. Um, Theirs are very expensive. Iron Orchid designs are upwards of thirty dollars for their transfers. There's also they're also really big <laughs> transfers that they um, that they sell. So <clears throat> they're made for transferring on furniture, on walls, and stuff like that. So here's another Quetzalcraft stamp that I got. Love this. I saw Lindsay Weirick from the Fur Frugal Crafter use this the first time. And I've wanted it for the longest time, so I decided to get that. Here's another one that I saw that I thought was so cute. Had to have it. Another one from Quetzalcraft. They have other manufacturers besides Quetzalcraft, but that one just happens to be one of my one of my preferred um, designs. So uh, that's what all of this is. So it's a little cat on a Paris rooftop. There's so many cool things you can do with this. This because I miss having a cat and I'm a crazy cat lady. This one is called Chat Sphinx. Chat is French for cat. And I thought he was adorable. And so I got him. And then I got this one also. And I had a specific application in mind for this one as well. But you can use this for all sorts of things. So that's what I got from Top flight stamps. If you want to take a look at some of the things that I got and some of the other things that are available at Top Flight Stamps, I'll have a link below and I'll also have a coupon code for you for 12% off your total purchase at Top Flight Stamps. Okay. And then I went to uh, Tailored Expressions. Tailored Expressions right now has my heart. It has my heart because of these dies. I bought a bunch. Uh, this is not the first purchase that I've ever made with Tailored Expressions, but um, it has these dies, and these are mixed media dies to basically make dangles to make for jewelry, for earrings. I made a few earrings with some of these, and uh, I'll link the video at the end where I show off uh, the earrings that I made. I'm in Deb Houck's, um Having Fun Making Jewelry collab. And I bought some of the faux leather. This is fake leather, pleather, and other ma uh, materials uh, to make the earrings and the jewelry out of. It's, see, it's like fleece lined, so... It's not real leather, but it cuts pretty well. Here are the here are the um, the cutouts and how everything worked out on that piece right there. But my first purchases with uh, with Tailored Expressions were these uh, simple strips. So the simple strips are these type of stamps. They're red rubber stamps. And there's markings here and here. What you do is you, you stamp out the whole stamp onto a sheet of paper, and then you take uh, the die that fits the simple strips, um, and you cut out you cut out the the sentiments. This one happens to be the backer for the sentiments. That's like an extra thing for just to back the sentiments. But this one is um, a new one that I got and it's got various sentiments like holding you in my heart, thinking of you with love, so deeply sorry for your loss. Blessed are those who mourn, I'm here for you, surrounding you with love. 
This is the sympathy one. So it has all sympathy type of readings on it. And um, this one is the Lifesavers mini strips. And I got the die for that. Here's what the simple strips dies look basically kind of looks like. It's just a simple, um, uh, well, the simple strips one is flagged like that. And so the banner, the backer is also flagged. But with these mini strips, um, they're just simple like this. So this one is the die that you, is used to cut out this particular set right there. And this one is um, Lifesaver. So it's for thank you for you. You're appreciated. You're awesome. We appreciate your Lifesaver heroes were scrubs. You made it all better. Make a difference. Caring for the world. You're an inspiration. Not all angels have wings. So this, uh, they do have a free digital download. Uh, because that's why I got this. I got the digital download and I got these two as well. And then this was a thank you uh, that they sent me because, because I bought over a certain amount. And um, yeah, so that's going to come in handy. Thanks always comes in handy. And yes, yeah, so this is one that I had already. And it's the Simple Strips die. So the Simple Strips die cuts out this size. Anything that's a Simple strip stamp, right? And then this one, you just, um, it's a really big die, but you put it on your backing paper. So if you want your backing to be black or you want your backing to be white, you just put it on plain paper and it'll cut the backing out for you like this. So, um, yeah, so those are the, those are the, the things that I purchased recently. That's my haul, y'all. <laughs> I hope you liked seeing the different things that I got and don't forget to take a look at, uh, at the end of this video. There's going to be a link for the video where I show you how I use some of these dies to make some earrings. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscriber and click the bell so you always get notified whenever I post a video. I appreciate you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Bye, everybody. Bye.